Hey everyone, just a quick summary of what happened during the session for Season 5, Session 8. So the Cabal found themselves in this other realm. A quick look around the space showed that this realm was its own kind of small pocket dimension. Within the first floor of this mansion was real and everything beyond was just an illusion. The group quickly entered to explore this dark place and found a butler it seemed like. Analyzing him with a brief glance of Prime showed that he was a construct of supernal energy. So likely created by a mage or supernal being. It questioned if they were there on behalf of the Mistress of the Void. Nasaba agreed to such and he led them to a gift that was for her. With some in-depth analyzation they discovered that this gift brought good fortune to where it was placed and left. The being was called Charlie. The weird side was there was a powerful force connection between it and something else that they could not detect. After a quick discussion if they should leave or stay, still much to be explored, um, one of the Cabal members decided to use space to see if they could find a way back here. It turned out they likely could if they could overcome the warding around the place, which one of them being a master's master level mages and space being abundant in the Cabal, it was determined that it would be likely possible. So with that, the Cabal decided that they would start heading out. Nasaba questioned if fate if this would make the what the best course of action was to make this mistress of the void happy who turned out to be a mis in charge of a mysterium safe as it was a quick nudge led her into another room where they started searching find a number of magical objects but taking interest in a large brass spearhead it turned out the spearhead was made of bronium and turned out to be an artifact debating on how to go about this nasaba and the guardian member or race started going through what spells or different combinations they could think to do to take this without having to touch it. Raphael continued to be on overwatch and the group eventually decided that Nasaba's familiar would grab it. So with this new artifact and Charlie and the Cabal in tow, they attempted to escape the mansion which began to lock itself down. A quick space spell allowed them to pass through the front door and each member began to limp from the stairs where weird vines were beginning to snake out when a race came, fell short. The others ran to their aid and were unable to pull them out. The vines began to wrap around the entire cabal when a race threw the entire group into a small pocket dimension within a pocket dimension. This, as he explained, were only last moments and they came out and escaped the realm. Returning back to where they had left off in Greece and making their way back to the school, uh, the Cabal arranged a drop-off for this skull named Charlie, who honestly admitted to being a connection and a spy for its master. The Cabal led to this exchange and returned to the school, examining the artifact they had found while Orais made contact with guardians, and it was... Raphael, who re reawakened the hollow that was beneath the school. Things starting to get shift shape until one of the Cabal members decided they would attempt to sneak the artifact off to the Order. Less sneaky and more not thinking to tell the others, it led to a quick debate on what to do. Eventually it was decided that the artifact would be going to the Mysterium. And after a few days of rest and recuperating, these exhausted masters were brought to the attention by... Barrett, that the weird door in the backyard of the mansion was starting to smoke. And that's where we left off, guys. I'll see you again on October 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you all have a great couple weeks, and it's been exciting. Talk to you later.